Good morning. This Friday morning already again. Um, yeah, I just was thinking about it. It's already lockdown two here in New Zealand, so uh, it's going to be all different. But I hope you still have the chance to join some yoga, uh, although it's going to be a little bit more, yeah, busy again in your life. Uh, I'm going to try to to be there still for you. And let's just get started today, the beginning of the day. If you're joining in Holland, it's probably Thursday evening. It's still different there and in different countries too. So yeah, let's just keep this up and join our movements, our breath and get our mind really in a good place. So let's get started. A little bit the music down, I think. Okay, let's put our feet together again. Now make sure there's a little bit space between your heels. Roll your shoulders down. And just really feel your body. Maybe you need to shake it. Maybe you want to close your eyes for a minute. Just feel your feet in the air. And just try to let go of everything you have been through this day already. So now it's the time to just be with yourself, your breath, and your body. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out through your mouth with a ha sound. Breathe in. Breathe out. And with that power, try that with your mouth closed and feel that sound in your throat. Now open your eyes. Try to really feel your bandhas. So activate your mulu bandhas, ujjana bandhas. And you will activate your Yolandara Banda a couple of times during this session too. Try to think about that. So activate the pelvis and bringing your belly into your spine when you breathe out. Let's get started with some Salutation A. Breathing in, reach your arms all the way up. Breathing out, roll down to your spine. Put your hands on shins, ankles are next to your feet. Keep your knees bent or extend. Breathing in, look up at the horizon. Breathing out, step, walk, or jump into your higher plank. If you want, come on your knees and lower down to crocodile. Now breathe in, roll your shoulders um, back. Press your hips into the floor for baby cobra or all the way up for up dog. Now tuck your toes back under to down facing dog. Really make sure you press your shoulders into your back, spread your fingers, feel your whole hands into the mat and open your elbows. Now if you need to walk your feet a little bit closer, if there's still too much tension on the back of your legs, just bend your knees lightly and lift your heels a little bit. If you're still not comfortable or your body is really tired for some reason, you can always, whenever during the session, putting your toes back, sitting back on your heels, reach forward and rest down in your child's pose. This is always an option when you need to. Now, keep on breathing while I'm talking though. Normally it's just five breaths we do, but I know I'm talking a lot to explain, so sometimes that will be a little bit longer. And if you need to get out of your asana, just get out of it. Now breathe in one more time and when you breathe out, look at your hands, step, walk towards them, just behind them or if you can, in between. Grab your ankles if you need to, look up at the horizon when you breathe in. When you breathe out, come to a forward fold. Breathe in, come all the way back up, 
or each towards the ceiling. Breathing out, Samastiti. Let's do that again. Waking our body up and let the energy flow through your body. Breathing in, reach. Breathing out, roll down, relax your neck and your shoulders, hands on shins, ankles or floor. Breathing in, look up. Breathing out, step walk or jump into your higher plank. On your toes or your knees, lower down. Breathing in, open your chest, squeeze your glutes. You can have your hips down if you need to. Breathing out, down facing dog. Shoulders pressing into your back. To make a long spine, look at the back or your nose. Press those heels back if you can. And really feel your whole hands and breathe. Activate those bandhas, breathe in one more time. And when you breathe out, look, out, look at your hands, step, walk or jump, in, or hop in between or just behind. Breathing in, look at the horizon. Breathing out, come to a forward fold. Breathing in, come all the way up, make yourself long. Breathing out, Samasthi T. Let's get going, breathing in. Breathing up, roll down. Hands on ankles, shins or floor. Breathing in, make a long back. Breathing out, step, walk or jump into your higher plank on your knees if you need to, lower down to a lower plank. Breathing in, open your heart, squeeze your glutes. Breathing out, down facing dog. Go to child's pose if you need to. Let's breathe five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five for your breathing. Look at your hands, and when you breathe out, step, walk, jump, or hop in between your hands or just behind. Breathing and make a long spine. Breathing out. Bend your knees if you need to. Breathing in. Come all the way up and reach. Breathing out. Samasthi T. Sun salutation B. Make sure you keep on breathing every asana you do, every posture you do. I know this one is going because of that a little bit faster. Breathing in, reach. Breathing out, roll down through your spine, hands on your ankles or next to your feet. Breathing in, look up. Breathing out, step, walk or jump into your higher plank or knees or toes, lower to lower plank. Breathing in, baby cobra or up dog. Breathing out, down facing dog. Now, if you need to help your foot, bend your knees, step it just behind your hands or in between. Lower back heel. Reach when you're breathing. You breathe out when you come down into your higher plank, lower plank. Breathing in, baby cobra or up dog. Breathing out, down facing dog. Help your feet if you need to, step it just behind your hands or in between. Back heel down, breathing in, reach. Breathing out, coming all the way down. Higher plank, lower plank. Breathing in, upper dog or cobra. Breathing out, stay here in your down facing dog or go to child's pose. And really deeply breathe. Look back, shoulders into your back, open the elbows, feel your hands. Don't forget, use your ujjayi breathing, making that sound in your, in your throat. 
and maybe you have to get used to it, but it really helps you to take longer and deeper breaths. Breathe in one more time, look at your hands. Breathe out, walk, step, jump or hop. In between, breathing in, look at the horizon. Breathing out, forward folds, breathing in, come all the way up. Breathing out, Samasthiti. Titi. Let's do that one last time, then we can keep on going with standing squints. Breathing in, breathe. breathing out. Breathing in, look up. You know what to do, you can grab your ankles. Breathing out, step, walk or jump. Breathe, come up and come down. Breathing in, baby cobra, up dog. Breathing out, down facing dog. Help your foot if you need to. Step it just behind your hands or in between. Lower your back heel down. Knees above your ankle. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out. Come in your higher plank, lower plank. Breathing in, up dog or cobra. Breathing out, down facing dog. Bend your knees, step your back foot in between or just behind. Back heel down, reach, breathing in, breathing out, coming all the way down, breathing in, press yourself up away from the floor, breathing out. Now really lift your sit bones towards the ceiling, long legs at the back if you are able to. This was your number three. Number four. Breathe in one more time. Look at your hands. Breathe out. Step, walk or jump. In between, breathing in. Look up. Breathing out. Forward fold. Breathing in. Come all the way up. Breathing out. Some CT. Okay, let's get going with some standing positions. Don't know if you realize I changed my mat today, so don't know. I thought maybe from a different angle you can see different things. Let me know if it works, yes or no. Feet underneath your hips for Parakustasana. Foot big toe posture. So grab your hips. Then open up your chest, squeeze your glutes though to support your lower back. Open up, breathing in. And when you breathe out, you come out of your hips all the way down. You can grab your shins, ankles, bend your knees if you need to. Otherwise, with two fingers around your big toe and your thumb. Now wherever you are with your hands, you're going to breathe in, look up at the horizon. And when you breathe out, you open your arm elbows to the side and you're bringing your chest to the back. And then look at your nose. Or if that's not comfortable, just look back. Bend your knees if you need to. And breathe. Really broaden your shoulders. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, come all the way up. Grab your hips, breathing in. Open your heart, breathing out. Step your feet together, Samasthiti. Uttita Trikonasana, step out to your side. Extend the triangle posture, breathing in. When you breathe out, turn your right foot to the side. To reach and then come down. Lean on your um, shin or even a little bit lower if you're able to. Now, some, some might have like a yoga block you can put behind your foot, what helps for you. Now, really reach all the way up. Make sure you're not falling forward. We want your front body open to the front. And breathe deeply. Pressing your feet into the floor. 
can really activate your upper leg muscles and press your hips forward. Breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, you look down at your foot. Breathing in, turn your right foot. Breathing out, turn your left foot right and coming down. Now, if you need to bend your knee a little bit, that's fine too. Just feel your body, what feels good for you today. Just press those hips, reach those arms. So there's one line through your top fingers, through your shoulders to the other eye. Breathe in one more time, and when you breathe out, look down at your foot, breathing in, turn your left foot, long arms, breathing out, so must it Okay, let's get going. Step your other foot, step your right foot out again, and then we're going to go to Utita Pars for Kazana. Pars for Kanata. Oh, I'm saying it wrong again. Sorry, keep trying. Um, side war or warrior posture. Um, now, we're going to turn your right foot out again and then bend your knee. Make sure it's above your ankle. Long arms, breathing in. When you breathe out, you come with your elbow onto your upper leg. Long arm next to your ear. Or if you have the flexibility, Maybe you can grab your ankle or you grab that yoga block again, put that behind your foot and press your um, knee towards your ankle. And breathe. Try to look up. If that's not comfortable, look down. Breathe in one more time. Breathe out, look down at your foot, breathing in, turn your right foot, breathing out, drive your knee above your ankle, elbow to knee, long arm next to your ear, lower down if you are able to. But also in this position, make sure you feel that lengthen on the side of your body and try not to fall forward. So you feel from out of your hip, stretching it all the way towards your hands. Breathe in one more time. Breathe out. Look down at your foot. Breathing in. Turn your foot back in. Breathing out. So much it Okay. Prasarita to... Uh, so, Prasarita Parottanasana, feet spread, intense stretch posture. And yeah, it is intense, so really listen to your body. Now, you breathe in, you have long arms, but while you're breathing out, try to push your heels a little bit out, not too far, grab your hips, and then you breathe in, you open your chest, and while you breathe out, you come forward. Now, if you are able to, put your hands down and just make a long back B here. If that's not working, you can also bend your knees and be halfway. Or grab your ankles if that's more comfortable. Now, if you are a little bit more flexible, put your hands further back, as far as the back of your heels. And then press the elbows back so they are next to each other, not opening up. Then breathe in one more time, look up, breathing out and come forward. And maybe you can reach with your head to the mat again, maybe not. Activate your bandhas. You breathe out, bring your belly into your spine. Feel 
Feel your whole foot into your mat. So try not to roll out on the outside of your foot. Now one more time. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Look up at the horizon. Breathing out. Come all the way up. Breathing in. Open your heart. Breathing out. So is the tea. Okay, let's get going. Um, yeah, let's do that though. Yeah, let's try that. Now, grab the front of your um, shin. Just stay here if that works for you. Make sure you look forward to really um, help yourself to balance. Lift your chest, press your shoulder blades back. If you are able, grab your big toe and stay here or come halfway or all the way. And have your other hands onto your hip, reach up, breathing in. And if you are that flexible, breathing out, come forward with your chest. Breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, you let go of your foot and softly put it back down. Let's try the other side. So grab the front of your shin. Lift your body up. So make yourself along like someone is pulling on your head with a string. Grab your big toe, hands on your hip, be halfway or extend it all the way. Breathing in, open your chest, breathing out, come forward. So really broaden your shoulders again. Breathing in, come up. Breathing out, extend your leg and slowly let it come down. Let's get going with um, the transition for the sitting postures. So breathe in, reach all the way up. Breathe out, roll down. Put your hands next to your feet. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out, step, walk or jump into your higher plank, lower plank. Breathing in, up dog or cobra. Breathing out, down facing dog. Now from here on, we can do it's in an intense posture, but this time we are going to do warrior one and warrior two. Breathing in, you bend your knees, help your foot if you need to. I'm going to step this time with my left, but you can do right. In between your hands or behind. Put your back heel down, breathing in. Reach, and if you are able to, look at your thumbs. If it's not comfortable, just hold on to your elbows or fold your hands and just point with your first finger. Now, drive your knee above your ankle. Press that foot, lean it back into the mat. A little bit your heel out. Not that it's in 45. And breathe. That was probably already a long time ago that was five breaths, sorry. Take one more breath. And when you breathe in one more time, you breathe out. Keep looking at your hands if you're able to. Turn your feet and come all the way to the other side. Drive your knee above your ankle and reach up. Now make sure you soften your shoulders though. Your back heel is a little bit out. Breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, you open your arms, you turn your foot parallel, and you make sure your hips are facing the front. Shoulders are above, long arms, knee above your ankle, and you just look over your fingers. So a lot of people want to reach out, like you're superwoman or superman. No, you don't have to. Yeah, it is a very strong posture, but we want to stand up strong here. So make this long and look up. 
and to your side. Breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, turn your left foot and then your right foot and drive your knee above your ankle. Breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, your back arm comes forward, windmill down, step into your high plank, breathing out in lower plank, breathing in upper dog, breathing out down facing dog. Now from here on, bend your knees, your lower one knee down. If you're able, put the other knee above to come and sit down or just next to it and come and sit down. Now, this time I'm not going to do the Dum Dum Dasana. Uh, we're going to do Paschimottasana, Western Intense Posture. Now, totally forgot, if you have a towel, you can put that towel around your foot. Um, if that's not working, grab your ankles or your shins, bend your knees if you need to. Or come with me, reaching your arms up, breathing in. Breathing out, hands at the back of your foot and your thumbs at the front of your foot. Now, wherever your hands are, breathe in, lifting the chest. Breathing out, open the elbows to the side so you have a strong back again. And you really reach your chest forward towards your toes while you look at your toes too. and breathe out and let go. We're going to go for a vinyasa now with your fingers so you can stay here putting your hands next to your hip, pressing your hip knees up. You can even lift your bum or you can try to press your whole body up like that. That's your vinyasa then or you go with the whole flow with me, hands down, breathing in. Breathing out in your higher plank and lower plank. Breathing in, baby cobra with hips down or press your hips up for up dog. Breathing out, down facing dog. And here we're going to sit down again. Breathing in, bend your knee, other and lower down. Um, oh yeah, I was going to do this one. Purfu Tanasana. This is not Western, but as uh, Eastern intense stretch posture. Now, uh, put your hands back here, so at the back of your um, hips. And then uh, really reach your chest towards the ceiling. So really open up and then bring your head back. You can stay here or a step further, putting your feet hip wide apart and we'll lift your hips towards the ceiling and look back. Now, or one more step further, extending the legs, pointing the toes, pressing yourself up like that and touch your toes down. Let's breathe together. Two, three, Four and five and roll down. Uh, doesn't it feel nice to open the front of your body? Now, Sinyasa, stay here or join me. Breathing in, hands down, higher plank. When you breathe out, lower plank. Breathing in, press yourself away from the floor. Breathing out, down facing dog. Step, walk or jump or bend your knees and lower down. Yeah, so however works for you to come and sit down. That's why I say step, walk or jump. If you're jumping, engage really your, um, um, your abdominals, please. Okay, Ada Bada Padma Matpaschimotasana. Tazana, Bada. Yeah, 
have a lotus posture. We have done this before. Now you can just put your foot next towards your thigh and then hold on to your shin. Now, if you want to go for a step further, give it a try. Um, it's all about practicing. Grab your right ankle with your right hand. Your left hand goes in front of your toes and you put your feet all the way in your upper thigh. Now, you're resting that knee down so your glute is opening up. If you have those bands, I just have, don't have them laying around here right now. You can put one band around here or a towel and put one band around this foot and then hold on to your foot. Now, some people are really flexible. Maybe for me it's working today. You hold on to your foot or just keep your arm there and you breathe in and you breathe out. Reach towards your foot and just grab your ankle if you need to. Breathing in, looking up. Breathing out, let go. Breathe in, look up at the horizon. Breathe out and let go again. Finyasa. Breathing in, breathing out, high plank, lower plank. Breathing in, press yourself away. Breathing out. Press yourself up, breathing in, bend your knees, lower one, the other, or jump. Okay, flex that foot, put your hand next to your thigh, grab it here, or with a bend, or like this, what works for you, or if you want to give it a try, grab your foot, left hand, right hand, and in front, and put your foot all the way up. Put a band around here, hold it like that with this hand, a band here if you need to, or just hold on like that. Now I'm going to try it again, I'm practicing too, sometimes it works. Breathing in, lift, breathing out, come forward, oh there it goes, I'm too slippery today. Now maybe give it one more try. You can keep sitting in your position if you want to. Nah. And keep on breathing. Breathe in, look up. Breathe out, let go. Well, to be honest, I'm quite warm, so I'm really slippery. I turned the heater on because it was cold, but now I'm too warm. <laughs> Just thought I should share. Okay, vinyasa time. Breathing in, hands down. Breathing out, higher plank, lower plank. Breathing in, lift. Breathing out, down rock. Breathing in, bend your knees, lower one, or jump. Breathing out, not a good jump. Um, how are we in time? Yeah. Asana. Put your foot close to your glute. Flex that other one. Now, breathing in, lift the opposite arm and try to bring it over your other knee. Now, you, if some people are able to bring their arm forward and raising the other one and then hold on to your hands. Or you can hold on to a towel. If this is not very nice for your body, put your hand back down and just look over your shoulder. You can have your arm however you like or up. What works for you? Really breathing in and out to make a deeply twist for your back.
Come to your next exercise. Now, feet close to your glutes, one hand in between. Flex your foot. Breathe in your right arm up, breathing out. Bring it in front of your knee. Now you know what to do. If you can hold on your hands or a towel, or bring your arm just onto your leg and put your other hand into the mat and look over your shoulder. Put your hand up if that works better for you. your um, your um, stomach muscles you can stay here but I would like you to give a try to lift your toes though and then you can hold on to your legs underneath your knees you really press your chest up shoulder blades into your back and you look up if you are able to hands next to your knees or extend your legs We are doing what you can do with your vinyasa. We are putting our hands down, knees up, press your bum up if you want, or your whole body. Okay, let's do that boat posture again. Now, toes down or halfway up, arms next or extend. sure if you need to hold on to your hips if you are able to roll on your shoulders fold your hands or grab your ankles now one step further is a hand next towards your head and just stay here or if you want to give it a try you press yourself all the way up 
Now make sure you really squeeze your glutes. I hope you're not going to have accidents if you're doing this for the first time. Otherwise, just do the other options, please. And look down. Actually, look at your nose. Breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, you're going to lower down. Okay. Now, we normally we do this three times super. Today, I'm going to do two, so we have time for another thing else. Um, uh, 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 asana. But since we have been opening the front of our um, body and using our Yolandara Bandha, we want to do the opposite way and lengthen the back of our body to get in a neutral way again. And that's actually why we do those Vinyasas too, to neutralize our body every time. Flex your foot, wrap your ankles or your shins, bend your knees. And grab a band if you have that. No, not with this one, to be honest. Because this time we're going to grab our toes again. And then you breathe on. So no bend around your toes, please. Breathe out. Open the elbows and press your hips back. So really lengthen the spine by raising your chest forward and looking at your toes. Stay here, come with me, breathing in, hands down, breathing out, higher plank, lower plank, breathing in, upper dog or baby cobra, breathing out, down facing dog, breathing in, bend your knees, lower one, jump or hop or whatever, <laughs> and let's do uh, Salamba Salfangasana, whole body support posture, or some people call it a candle posture or shoulder posture. Well, lay down onto your back and then you can just reach your um, legs up to the ceiling, really pressing your belly into your spine. Feel your lower back all the way towards your upper back onto the mat. If you are able to, roll a little bit back, then bring your elbows on the knees. You, and then hold on just into your lower back. And you can stay here. If you are able to, extend your legs all the way up to the ceiling. But make sure your elbows are really trying to be back. And then make yourself long. Here again, your Yolandara Bandha is active by your chin to your chest. And this time we are breathing 15 times. Time your belly goes into your spine, activating your bandhas, your pelvis is activated, your belly towards your spine, and your yolandara bandha. Now breathe in one more time. When you breathe out, slowly bend your knees, lower the hands down, and roll your whole back out onto the mat. Ah, just feel your back for a moment, feel your body. Then roll back up for Vinyasa. Almost there for the Savasana, but one more posture in between. 
Pop Masana for the Lotus Posture. So breathe in, hands down, breathing out, higher plank, lower plank. Breathing in, upper dog or baby cobra. Breathing out, down facing dog. Breathing in, bend your knees, lower one, lower the other, or jump. Now, like I said, come with your legs crisscrossed or have lotus posture, one leg on top or maybe both. What works for you today? Now put your hands onto your knees, first finger and thumb together. And we don't want to sit like this, we really want to make a long spine like you're pulling on your head again with a string. We feel the lengthen from your neck towards your tailbone. But we are going to bring our chin to our chest again to activate all our bandhas. Don't close your eyes yet. Look at your nose. That's our drishti. The way we look at. Or just forward if that's not working for you. Breathing 10 times in this posture. And really try this out. Bringing your belly into your spine all the way. To try to use those blocks to let the energy flow in your energy channels in the right way. One more time and when you breathe out sorry but we're gonna do one more thing yourself come with me if you go for the full flow breathing in breathing out lower down breathing open your chest again breathing out down facing dog breathing in bend your knees lower one and the other grab something warm if you need to or make sure that if there's people in the room or anything will distract you, try to make sure that it's not around you. So you have this whole time to really get to yourself, your body and your breath. And just listen to the music. If you're not able to stay for the meditation, Thank you for being here now. Now really make yourself comfortable. Close your eyes. And just feel your body for a minute. Maybe your breath is still going a little bit fast. Let it just slow down by itself. It will naturally come back by itself. Your heart will slow down. And if you're laying on the floor, feel your body. Bring your shoulders towards your ear while you breathe in and you breathe out and you let them go. Fold them into the mat and feel your shoulders relaxing down. Bring your chin a little bit to your chest to lengthen your spine. And feel the back of your head all the way through. 
through the front of your head, soften the muscles around your eyes and your mouth. And then breathe in again. Try to lift your chest and let it softly fall down. And then feel your breath spreading along your chest towards your arms. And just soften your arms and your fingers. Do the same with your belly. Feel your belly filling up with that breath all the way and let that energy fall down and feel your lower back relaxing and soften through your glutes, your hips and your upper legs. And make sure there's no tension around your calves and your toes. Just let them fall open to the side. Although if your lower back is in pain, you can put your feet up and let your knees fall into each other. Now when you're laying here, like you to just give some attention to your body. What happens with your body when you lay here? Like I said earlier, it will just naturally breathe by itself. Your breath will go slower and slower after all those asanas in a natural way again. And that will calm you down. And let that happen. Let it calm down by itself. Let it rest all the way. And just be with yourself. This music and try to enjoy this time. Try not to think about a thing. If something shows up, let it fade away again.
place where you really feel nice and comfortable in and that can help you too. you are still with me in this meditation, you can either stay and finish your own way, if you are able to, that's even nice to have a little bit longer, but my video has to finish, so I'm gonna start finishing up you're joining me, just listen to my voice, but keep your eyes closed. And just softly breathe in one more time, and when you breathe out, feel that breath spreading through your body. Feel that warm breath and feel how comfortable you are feeling right now. Try to keep that in mind if you get, get through the rest of your day. A lot of things are going on in this world and you need those times to really feel relaxed and come back to your body, your soul, and your breath. But for now, we're gonna end. So maybe wake your body up with moving your fingers and your toes. Make any movement what feels nice for you, rolling your head from one side to the other maybe. Or extending your whole body, reaching your arms above your head. And really just reach out, extend all those muscles and let go again. And if you want, bring your knees towards your chest and roll your lower back into the mat. And then 
and take your time to roll on your side, your right side. Take a moment there. And then press yourself slowly up, come to a sitting position. Keep your eyes closed if you want to. And let's finish this phrase by reaching our arms up all the way. Breathing in, breathing out, bring your hands towards your head and your heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining my session again. And like I said, whatever is going on in the world right now, maybe it's getting more hectic, hectic again in some places when you have to go back to work. Try to come back to yourself and take this moment for yourself, your body, your whole everything needs that and not, a, not only for yourself but also the people around you so you can stay relaxed and stay nice to each other i hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know if you have any comments and have a good rest of your day and a weekend see you next time